Human Settlements uh, Minister and Presidential Hopeful Lindiwe Sisulu says she's dismayed by the recent assault of a woman by the uh, Deputy Minister Manana. She was speaking at her ancestral home outside Ngobo in the Eastern Cape. Hundreds of people from areas in and around Ngobo gathered at Sinkwemeni Great Place to hear her speak. A traditional blessing, the Amagdena clan bestowed benediction ahead of her presidential bid. Sisulu supporters believe she is capable of rooting out corruption and abuse against women and children. Even a student at high school, once she becomes an SRC, so see, that one sees an opportunity of looting money of South Africans. I think, as we know, that she has no corrupt relations. She must make sure that she emphasizes the issue of anti-corrupt society in South Africa, because that's the main problem we have. Speakers expressed frustration at the increasing numbers of women and children who are abused, especially in rural areas. Referring to the assault incident by Deputy Education Minister Mdudu Zimanana, Sisulu said she is appalled. I would advise him if I had the opportunity, but it, unfortunately I'm here now, that he does hand him, himself over. Uh, he has apologized, but I think that in, it, it needs to be taken a step further to show that we actually are completely intolerant of violence against women. On Tuesday's secret ballot in Parliament, Sisulu noted that it allowed MPs to vote with their conscience. Everybody in the ANC has a conscience and should exercise their conscience when they vote. That was granted to us by the courts. It was uh, also uh, um, consented to by the Speaker and we all voted with our conscience. Simkita Mangunana, SABC News, Sinomeni.